Okay, so let me just talk you through my surgical skills practice setup. Uh, so first of all, I have a jig. Everyone should have one. Um, there's loads and loads of jigs that you can. Yeah, I've got my. <laughs> I've got my gloves on. Um, I did not steal these, by the way. I I I haven't st stole any of this equipment. Um, either I bought it, so like these jigs, or. I've borrowed them, and you can do that from your local hospital, or actually they're stuff that's out of date, people don't want it anymore, and you actually, if you, if you ask people, um, like scrub stuff, they'll just give it to you, because it just goes in the bin, otherwise, it's it's kind of sad really, but anyway, oh, sorry, um, as I was saying, um, the first thing you need is some kind of jig to practice on, so this is kind of fake skin, um, it's from a company called. Uh, it's, it's from a company called uh, Limbs and Things. They're quite, yeah, they're, they're quite good as far as these as far as these uh, jigs go. Um, the top layer is a kind of mixture between what looks like plastic and rubber, and then the bottom layer is is foam. Um, it's not as far as it, uh, it compares to skin. To be honest, it's not that realistic. But as far as it compares to other similar jigs, it's it's pretty good. And and similar sort of fake skin, it's it's pretty good. I think the only one I've used which is potentially potentially better is one which has got this rubbery plasticky stuff at the top and then at the bottom, once you go through the kind of skin it's it's that same rubbery stuff. It's like full thickness um, skin and rubbery stuff. That 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 is the that is the real deal. I've I don't know how 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 to sort of get my hands on that. That seems to be only in courses. I've seen that one or two times. Um, but other than this, what else do you need? So obviously you need. Whoops. Oh, that's the other thing I'm good about this particular jig. It comes with these. In fact, they all should come with the suction pads, to be honest, so that's that's probably not especially good, but make sure that it's got suction pads. If it hasn't got suction pads, it's pretty pretty much no use to you, because you have an unrealistic moving around jig, which would never happen, you know, in theatre. Always your patient is, is fixed, <laughs> obviously, to, to something. So what do you need? You need um, needle holders. So these particular... Needle holders, I think, are the A and E needle holders that you can get in A and E. Um, they were out of date, so I just, I just took a, took a pack. Um, they're disposable. They're not the ones that you actually use in theatre, which is a bit of a shame. I couldn't really get my hands on those. Um, and then you need some, something to suit you with. So in this case, uh, looks like Vicryl to me. It's like two O or three O potentially there. Uh, what else do you need? You need something to hold in the other hand, so either tooth forceps or non-tooth forceps, and actually in that kit, which is called Fine Suture Pack, um, if you're wondering, because there's if if you work in A and E or if you've ever worked in A and E or surgery for that matter, you can get a disposable um, these disposable suture packs. One of them is called Stand, I think it's called Standard Suture Pack, and one of them is called Fine Suture Pack. Go for the fine one. Um, in fact, you could go with both, but it just so happens in, in ENT, which is the, the specialty that I specialise in, we tend to use the fine suture pack more. Maybe if you do things like general surgery, orthopaedics, um, you'd, you'd use the, um, the, you know, something like the standard suture pack will be uh, much more suitable to what you um, normally end up doing. The other things you need, scissors... Uh, to cut your suture, so this is more sort of uh, straight iris scissors. Um, you tend to use those more, um, not so much for cutting the sutures. This is like your uh, standard straight um, suture cutters. What else uh, do you need? What else is really useful? Ah, this. This is this is really useful. Something like <clears throat> these are just uh, ties. Actually, they don't. They're, they're essentially the same as. The same as this. I don't know if you can see that actually. By the way, I apologise about my desk. It is, it is really, really messy. Um, 
that's just the way I like it. Um, yeah, yeah. So these these ties are the same as these Vicral sutures, but the only difference is they don't actually have the needle on. So you get quite a lot of ties in a pack, and you can tie them to uh, pretty much well, well, a lot of things. Um, I actually, funnily enough, use the handle of was well, one of the things that use. I tie to everything, but handle of a mug. But as long as you find something relatively narrow and it's like a sort of pedicle, like almost like this, you could tie it there and just practice, just carry on doing knots. Um, maybe I'll show, show you in some other video. I don't have enough hands at the moment. Um, what else do you need? Uh, these are, let's have a look. These are the main instruments. See, some of these are, <clears throat> some of these are specialist instruments. So as, you know, if you grow like a specialty interest or <clears throat> let's say you really want to do general surgery, those guys using laparoscopic instruments all the time. Maybe a bit more difficult to get your hands on those kinds of things. Um, but, you know, these are the EMT instruments, Wilson's, um, and then you got your some scissors for cutting the tonsils, straight burkits, negus knot pusher. I think the, the, these are also um, for holding sutures. And then this is a disposable scalpel. That's actually, I put that in the main. Um, sort of general set, or skin set. Uh, what's this? This is a uh, fine... Uh, fine... Oh, what are they called? I'm forgetting everything now. Tooth forceps. Uh, what is there in here? Single use. Uh, sort of Addison's. Yeah, kind of thing. Disposable. Disposable ones. Yeah, so th those are the main things. And then I have like a small collection of sutures here. These are mainly for skin because you know a lot of ENT were working in the head and neck region. So um, what is sort of fine sutures there? What is this? Uh, so silk for like ties. Um, we're doing a lot of drain ties, things like that. And then what have I got in here? Stuff which I probably don't use that often. I mean these we have them in hospital, so. And this is, what is that, 128, so definitely not for EMT. And then, oh, trusty old stethoscope uh, as well, which, yeah, I probably haven't used for, haven't used for years. Just use the hospital ones, you know, really use it in EMT, to be honest. Um, so I think those are the, those are the main things. And, and then, move those out of the way, and then once you've got these, uh, this kind of main set of equipment, and you've got your jig, you just, you just practice, you just practice, 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 um, and trying to make it routine. I mean, admittedly, I haven't been doing as much as I'd want to recently, um, but when I was in the routine, I was doing this, you know, a few times a week, almost every day, um, and you just, it just becomes kind of unconscious, and you, you, you want to get into the habit where you want to be doing the same thing with tying knots as well, because the more you can do even the really basic stuff and your bosses see that you can do the really basic stuff then the more you will be able to do um, so I'm probably going to leave it there for today and actually do some practice uh, myself uh, but see if you can see if you can get hold of some of that equipment from work if you're working at the moment but even if you're a medical student at clinical school um, see if you can go in the hospital just ask uh, a couple of people in A&E is there any spare materials out of date materials which you don't need that I could have uh, and just get practicing at home and I mean this kind of thing you probably end up having to buy uh, that online there's loads of different ones you can you can buy online um, the other place where you might be able to get this kind of stuff from is if you have an education centre, a clinical skills centre, you can just borrow this stuff and then just return it um, when, when required.